Oh. Uh, normal things, say who I am and why I'm here. Okay. I'm Alex White, and I'm here to support the bug jar in their hearing against the point system to try to stay open. The, uh, apparently there was an incident, someone got shot outside the premise, and now the city would like to close them, claiming it's somehow their fault. The city has a uh, law from the 80s called the uh, point system, and unfortunately the point system sets a bunch of criteria for what a business is bad for. And unfortunately, as far as I can tell, the bug jar violated none of them. The, uh, they did not have they did not have gambling, prostitution, stolen property, dangerous weapons, unlawful dealing with a child, falsified business records, forgery, forgery implements, vehicle dismantling, welfare fraud, illegal drugs, food stamp fraud, and were not illegally selling cigarettes. Uh, they had all the valid business permits. They were lawfully dispensing alcohol. And when there was a problem on the premises, they dealt with it in the legal and correct manner. Un they, unfortunately, someone went outside into their car, got a gun, and shot someone outside the building. That cannot be considered the responsibility of the bug jar. It's as silly as blaming this on music is the reason for this happening. And didn't we go through that in the 60s with rock and roll? It was stupid then, it's stupid now. This law does not apply here. The people at the bug jar were doing nothing wrong, and there's a bunch of people here, and we'd like to send a message that they should remain open, and the city should stop trying to use backhanded and unlawful procedures to close businesses that they have granted all the permits to and have performed legally. The worst thing here is if they close it down, 20-some people will lose their job. Is that really what we need? All because the city can't differentiate between the building and the streets? Thanks.